what I'm going to do here is throw some content into the editor uh, that I know to have some accessibility issues. Uh, so for those of you who might not be familiar with the accessibility guidelines, uh, the goal here, there, there are some guidelines the WCAG publishes as well as in America. We use something called Section 508, which is a U.S. government requirement. And they basically define how should I build HTML so that it can be consumed by the most numbers of people. Uh, so to Tim's earlier comment, this isn't about making the editor usable by people. It's when I take the content that you're typing into the editor and I render it later in a browser, how do I make that content consumable by the most number of people possible? And there's a whole set of guidelines for how that happens. So you'll notice here I have a little icon, and when I hover over it, it says I want to check my accessibility. So when I do that, what it's going to do is a dialog is going to appear, and it's going to tell me the problems that I have from an accessibility perspective. Uh, so for example, the first issue here says images must have alternate text and it's highlighted this logo here at the top. So one of the requirements for accessibility is that an image, which is a visual representation of something, needs alternative text so that if people can't render the image or can't see the image, that there's a way to provide a different uh, textual explanation of what that item is. And you'll notice, as Tim mentioned here, we give you the option right in the dialogue uh, to put in what this is. So we'll say this is the tiny MCE logo and I should repair that. And you'll notice now instead of seven issues, I have six. Uh, so another one here, if, if, if I were to show you the HTML behind the welcome to the tiny MC editor demo, uh, it sure looks like a heading because it's big and it's bold text. Well, the reality is all I did is I took some styles and I took a paragraph and I made the text really big and bold. So while it looks like a heading, semantically it's not a heading. So what we've identified is that you've used a paragraph, but you formatted it in a way that it looks like a heading, but semantically it's not a heading. So we're going to give you the option, if, if you mean that to be a heading, which of the numerous heading levels would you like that to be? And again, I can choose to repair that. Now some things in, in the accessibility checker, and these lists are one of them, uh, there are some things that we can tell you we believe you have a problem, but we can't necessarily fix it for you directly. Uh, so it's pretty common when people are typing content if they don't really realize that there's the option to put a list in the editor. They just start using things like asterisks to, to kind of look like a list, but it's not really a list. And again, semantically, if this is a list of things, we want to use list markup. So here the accessibility checker has identified that I don't have list markup and it looks like a list. Uh, but we're not going to attempt to change that for you on the fly. We're simply going to tell you that that's a problem. Uh, moving on down, another area that is, is pretty significant for creating uh, content that's accessible is tables. There's a few different things here. Number one, tables are supposed to have captions. Uh, so we're going to give it a caption. Uh, and you'll notice the caption appears on the page. And this other one, and this is a huge thing for tables if you're not familiar with accessibility. When I look at this table, because I can see the table when I'm looking at it in a browser, it's fairly obvious that product is a heading that belongs to these three items below it because visually it's centered and visually it's bolded. But from a semantic perspective, there's things I can do in HTML to directly associate the, the, the cell product with the data below it. And so what the accessibility checker is identified here is that a table header should really be associated to the data that it belongs to. And we seem to have guessed that this belongs to either, the header either belongs to a row or a column or a row group or a column group. Well, this is clearly the header for a column of data. So columns go up and down. So I'm going to say product is a column header. And I'm going to have to repeat that for each one of my columns. Uh, and then when I'm done, the table no longer has accessibility issues. So it makes it easy for me to kind of map out a table so that not only does it visually look the way I want, but the HTML semantically describes things properly. So that's, that's some of the accessibility checking stuff uh, that we can do.